Hello everyone. I am Burned Beauty 2018. I am a five-year burn survivor. Many of you probably already know me. I've been on social media for about three years and I started after I got burned. Um, I was 45 years old when I got burned and I'd always loved makeup, um, but I felt like I didn't have a need for makeup after I got burned because my entire face got replaced. And I felt like, what's the point? And then I eventually learned that there's so much diversity in beauty and that it didn't matter what anybody else thought about it. Just me. Just what I think. So here I am, and I'm proud to be here and proud to be back making tutorials. When I wanted to learn how to do my makeup after being burned, I couldn't find any tutorials, right? Nothing. And so I started creating them. And that was in 2021. Since then, there's so many beautiful survivors, male and female, doing so many amazing things on social media. And there's plenty of content to be found, and I'm really happy about that. COVID changed a lot of things and made it where we really needed to reach out as much as we could on social media. I was not into social media at all. You notice I just put a little bit of random lip liner on. We're going to do a foundation tutorial today, but my lips don't have any definition because my top lip had to be replaced. In fact, everything on my face had to be replaced except my bottom lip. With that being said, I'm grateful for what they did. They made a new lip out of, you know, a piece of skin from my lower abdomen, but it doesn't have any shape on top and I don't have a cupid's bow. So I use a lip liner every day. Right now, I'm just putting on some lip gloss and I even wear a liner for that so that I have some definition. It's not meant to be perfect. It's not meant to be anything. And I really like to treat my lips while I'm putting on my foundation. Let's get some foundation on. But first, I've already done my skin prep today. I'll do another video for that um, next time. I'm going to start with some Hangover RX. Um, primer by Too Faced. It has um, such good skincare in it because I need all the ingredients I can to revive the skin because you can minimize fine lines. I wish I had a few more fine lines because that's what makes my skin, that's what makes people stare. You know, they can't figure out like what's different, especially when I have on a full face of makeup. Lord have mercy, they have no idea what's going on. None at all. Next, so I like to use two primers. Next is Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Glow Serum. I know it is so irritating to have products backwards. I hope I can reverse this video. There's a whole thing that I have about how different I look when I flip the video. I'm a confident woman, and I've been you know, learned my confidence that there's still some things that you're just like, oh, I can't do it. <laughs> it's actually a lot when I think about the journey. You know, I just got burned at the age of 45 and I've had to kind of relearn everything about myself. But you know, even if you don't get burned, that's something you kind of have to do, right? Let's do some color correction. This is Elf Camo color corrector. And I've got the orange because I want to cancel out some of this darkness. And I'm really just getting into this. I've been doing my makeup for quite some time, actually since I was a little girl. And I never really had to do a lot with color correction. So, you know, you learn your face. Right? And once you learn it, try to embrace it. Just try to love it, you know. Love it as it is and remember that you're just enhancing your beauty. You know, we're not trying to, people will accuse you of trying to hide and being confident and uh, wanting to enhance your beauty is not hiding. You'll never please all the people, period. 
if I don't wear makeup, people say, why don't you put on a little bit of something? You know, you can do a little something with that, with a little bit of this and a little bit of that. People that don't even wear makeup will say to me, you know, oh, you know, my wife, you, literally, I've heard this, my wife uses this airbrush thing and it really makes her look good. <laughs> like, her, wait, do I look bad? Because I am very happy. I'm kind of spreading this um, color corrector out with the concealer brush. I'm going to pat it on with a fluffy brush, but I'm kind of just placing it. I don't want to, to thin it at all. I want it to remain opaque. The one thing I'm definitely doing is dabbing and I am using a concealer brush right now. Remember to stay open to new things, especially if you've had a big change um, in your life. And that can just be aging, you know, as we realize we've got more lines or we've got more um, ring, you know, discoloration. Just learn to just kind of roll with it. I'm going to use a fluffy um, like a fluffy blender brush and just kind of pat this now. Oh, this is nice. I'm doing, you know, tutorials five days a week of my job. Not my job. I'm in my purpose now. It helps people, whether they want to wear makeup or not, representation matters. And when you see someone who's um, just living their best life, without being perfect, without fitting into society's standards, it feels good. I'm taking a dry sponge now, but I don't want a damp sponge because I don't want to dilute it in any way. I still see the darkness, but you know, it's not going to be perfect. And after COVID and after people just started saying, hey, this is me, I do good makeup, I do great makeup, but my face doesn't look like a supermodel, neither does yours. Once that happened, it was good. I decided to use a little bit of green because I have this red right here under my eye and it is a problem every day. And I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad one, I've never done it before, but green cancels red. And I always am very um, aware of the redness under my eyes and just kind of want to cancel it. So remember, orange for darkness or any kind of blue under eye, green um, for redness. I'm going to let it set for a minute um, just to thicken up. I don't want that getting into my eye at all. And today we're only going to do just the foundation and concealer. I've got Estee Lauder Double Wear. It is my absolute favorite. It's the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Foundation. I am in 5N1 Rich Ginger. 5N1 Rich Ginger. I really like to use a brush to apply foundation. I have started being really comfortable with the sponge building the foundation to full coverage but I really like the first application with the stipple brush so that I can get in to all my little fine lines and you're going to have them too whether you have skin grafts or not you're going to have fine lines and if you're 51 years old like me then you're going to definitely have some have some skin texture. We all do. Texture isn't bad. This stipple brush, what it's doing is just pushing the foundation right into my skin. Now, I'm going to take some NYX. Bear with me. So, so I'm going to use it right now. I'm going to spritz my foundation with it. So, we spray some on the sponge and it just really helps the foundation um, just stick. It helps it adhere. And you can use this type of prep and prime spray also as a refresher. Like if you're wearing your makeup all day and it gets a little dry, a little, you know, you spritz this on and it refreshes it. I'm using the e.l.f. Camo Concealer Sponge. And I put the NYX Bear With Me Prep and Prime on it. And I'm trying to dab in some of that green color corrector. This sponge works great. Remember, it's a damp sponge. I'm not going to completely get rid of the red, but I do like what I've got going here. 
You'll notice I have quite a bit of puffiness under my eyes, and that is just from the way they were reconstructed. And the Double Wear Foundation by Estee Lauder that I'm using is a medium coverage foundation, medium to full coverage. And when it's medium to full, that means when you apply it, like I just did, that first layer, that it's medium coverage, but you can build it to full. Estee Lauder builds to full very, very easily. I do it every day. It doesn't take a lot of time. It doesn't get kinky, and it doesn't settle into my lines, which is what I think makes this one of the best foundations out there. We are going to get our camo concealer and conceal our under eyes. You noticed I put a little bit of foundation right under my brow, but I didn't put it right on the eyelid because I want to use um, an eyeshadow base or a concealer there. So my camo concealer is in tan neutral. I'm dabbing it on, so I'm going to put this concealer on the spots that I need to conceal, but my under eyes, we're gonna do them first. I'm not using a beauty filter at all. So this is gonna be like the truth. <laughs> you know, beauty filters are nice. I'm not against them, but I don't think they set realistic expectations. And especially for me with my, with my skin as it is, it's glorious. I'm able to try things and have a completely fresh, different perspective on how they work. Now, of course, when you're putting your foundation on and, and things, it looks, it can look scary. You got to trust the process. And here we go. Now we're going to go, we're going to finish the rest of it after we set our under eyes. I am using Lunar Beauty Luniversal Setting Powder, medium. Um, so we've got that on. We're going to let it set. Now I'm going to finish the concealer. My top lip is just, you know, it's not a lip. It's not that easy to work with. Um, it's got a lot of darkness on it and it doesn't behave like a lip. This little pudge right here, I don't know. I feel like that's new. I busted my lip uh, a couple of weeks ago and it's not going away. Skin grafts behave so randomly. You damage it and it just doesn't heal. It doesn't snap back. It's a lot. It's discouraging sometimes. And, you know, I'm a very positive person. I've managed to be really proud of, of uh, being able to start over. You know, this started when I was 50 years old. And no, started when I, this started when I was 45 years old. And it's hard. At that point, I was ready to settle down. The kids had, all, you know, I had kids young. They had already moved out. They were in college, and I was ready to just start traveling. And, you know, as a realtor, I was ready to live this dream that I'd always envisioned for 50 years old. And then instead of being out traveling, you know, at 50 years old, I was uh, standing on a red carpet in Hollywood, placing number six in beauty and fashion, during TikTok Live Fest, and it felt surreal. I've always loved makeup, but I would have never made it, um, I would have never made it my profession had this not happened. Right now, I'm using the fluffy eyeshadow brush to pat in my concealer, which will be my eyeshadow base today. You can use an eyeshadow base if you want, but while you've got the concealer out, it works just as well, and the camo concealer is $7. There's lots of great product, but you gotta live a little too. You know, I'm always trying to stay on budget and run the business and do things, but I've gotta, you know, you've gotta be happy. And I know, you know, I thought I was gonna die. I really thought I knew I was living my last moments the night that I caught fire and I know that while it's great to be responsible and and you know all these things you still have to 
um, you really have to, you really have to make the most out of life. You have to enjoy it. Treat yourself because when it all comes down to the end, <laughs> can't take it with you, you know, you cannot take it with you. So I've got uh, just a powder puff and I'm putting on the Lunar Beauty Luniversal Setting Powder. Now I'm applying it all over my face to set my foundation and concealer. But if you get it down here on the lid, you're going to see some texture in your shadow because concealer and eyeshadow base are so smooth and, and powder definitely adds texture. My eyebrows are glued on. They are eyebrow wigs. They are totally cool. And several companies make them. And right now, I am putting on a finishing powder by e.l.f. E.l.f. HD Finishing Powder. And I'm using my big fluffy face brush and just putting some on and then taking off any excess setting powder because I don't want that. It's going to settle. The finishing powder is another level of blur. The setting powder is setting my products. The finishing powder is just a blur and a super beautiful, refined finish. Foundation really looks good. You know, remember to give yourself grace. I am a burn survivor. I have skin grafts. I am not using a beauty filter. I am not going to look perfect by any means. But that doesn't mean I don't look gorgeous, because I do. <laughs> I'm using my Morphe bronzer brush and just putting a little touch. I've always done kind of just a big three, touching softly. You can put it on your face differently depending on your facial structure. But for me, just a big three has always worked. It's simple to the point. Then I get under here, under my chin, and I make sure to get the jawline, right? I don't want a lot of contour. It's very aging. And I already have enough angles and things going on in my face that I just don't, I don't need any more. So once you get this on, then we're going to blend it in. Um, I will use one of my e.l.f. brushes for that. The bronzer that I'm using is the Natasha Denona Bronze and Glow Palette. I'm blending and not removing. I'm grabbing my e.l.f nose contour brush and it's for doing nose contour and you just come down with your bronzer same bronzer that I used everywhere else and then you remember that your nose contour goes into your into your eye socket the nose isn't just straight up and down it's over here into the brow I put I try to angle my nose contour here and then I really really want to minimize the point of my nose, putting a little bit of bronzer under here kind of creates a shadow and then just blending in the seams. At that point, your complexion is done and ready for eyeshadow, lashes, all the glamorous things. That was great. I'm not even going to finish my face today. I'm going to take our pup to the park because he's been waiting patiently. I'm going to tag all the products for you to shop. Please follow me on my LTK shop as well and my Amazon storefront. That's where I can link all these wonderful products and I hope that you will remember to like, follow, share, and subscribe and don't forget to ring that notification bell so you will know every time I post a new tutorial. Um, thank y'all so much. It's good to be back on YouTube. I love y'all and whatever you're going through, this too shall pass. See you next time.